Hi, this is Cindy Rubin from In Touch Pediatrics and Lactation. I wanted to talk a little bit about when babies bite when you are nursing. So this is not uncommon. Everybody thinks that this is going to happen when babies have teeth. And it can happen with teeth for sure. It can also happen, babies can do it just with their jaws. But either way, it hurts. <laughs> and when it happens, it's pretty hard to resist, you know, yelping <laughs> and potentially scaring your baby. Which if that happens, you know, you're human and that's okay. Generally speaking, the bigger the reaction we have, we could potentially encourage our baby to keep doing it because they got this interesting reaction. So keeping your reaction somewhat to a minimum can be helpful. But, you know, your baby's not doing this to hurt you. They don't know that it's going to hurt. And it often starts to happen I'd say nine months is a common time. This is a time when kids are really changing developmentally. So not only are they getting teeth and feeling all that stuff in their gums and might be wanting to chew on things, but they're also becoming more aware of their surroundings and wanting to explore more. They're also just going through this oral phase where you'll see that your baby is putting everything in their mouth. But also because of being aware of their surroundings, babies start to get more distracted at the breast, maybe are more interested in eating solids than being at the breast. And you may find that just naturally your baby is wanting to be on the breast less. And either because they want to play or because they want to eat with their hands instead or whatever it may be. So it's okay if that happens. So first of all, listen to your baby's cues at that age. If they do not want to nurse during a time when you normally would have nursed them, like before a nap or when they first wake up or after a meal, if it's a typical time to nurse, but suddenly your baby is saying no, don't keep trying. Not only is that gonna just create a little bit of tension and pressure and negative emotion around eating, but it also may lead your baby to go onto the breast but not really wanna be there. And that can lead to biting just because they're not eating. When you're actually eating, you really can't bite because your tongue is going to be protruding to a point where your gums and your teeth cannot come together. But when a baby is either just starting to play at the nipple or is just doing some comfort sucking, that's when the biting often will happen. So first of all, if you know your baby doesn't wanna be there, listen to your baby, they'll nurse again later. The total volume of milk that babies drink sometimes does drop around that age. That's when babies are eating more, so they may be drinking less. So that's not atypical. If your baby is eating at the breast much less and you're worried about that, then certainly talking to your pediatrician, getting a weight on your baby after a big change in eating patterns can be helpful and reassuring to make sure that they're still gaining weight and there's nothing else wrong. But back to biting, uh, it may just be that they really are moving into a different phase. Another thing is that distraction. When distraction starts up, that's when babies start to bite. So again, at that near the end of a feeding, when the baby is really not eating anymore and maybe just doing a little bit of comfort sucking, if you can anticipate that, if you can kind of sense that, okay, well, my baby's not really swallowing anymore, sucking much more lightly, potentially starting to almost pull off and look around, it's good to just anticipate that and just take your baby off so that you can hopefully get them off preemptively before they have a chance to bite. Unfortunately, that may mean that you don't get as many of those little, you know, snuggly times when a baby is comforting at your breast. 
And you may just have to forego those for a while until your baby gets over that biting stage. But it may be one or the other and certainly biting is no fun. So anticipating that can be helpful. Another thing potentially if your baby is just really bitey in general and putting everything in their mouths, then letting them do that with something else before you feed them may satisfy some of that urge to bite and chew so that then when they're eating, they're not as likely to do that. So let's say first thing in the morning, if you're going to put your baby on the breast, but they're really interested in gnawing and chewing, <laughs> give them something that they can safely gnaw and chew on a little bit, you know, just for a few minutes before you put your baby on the breast, assuming they'll wait that long. And you can do that at any point, even if you start to feel like they're chewing a little bit, but you don't think they're done at the breast, you can take them off give them some sort of chewy toy. One of my favorites is a wet washcloth, put it in the freezer, and then when you take it out, it's cold, it's crunchy, and it can be a really nice thing when babies are teething or just something for them to chew on. And you can do that in the middle of a feeding if they seem to be getting distracted, do it for a minute or two, and then see if they wanna go back on the breast. So those are just a few tips. Know that they will get over that phase typically. It doesn't necessarily mean that breastfeeding is done, though if it continues and you get to a point where you're done, that's okay as well. So hopefully this has been helpful. Feel free to contact me with any questions. If you would like some one-on-one -on -one breastfeeding advice, please reach out to me and spread the word about my practice. And I have some breastfeeding support packages that are available throughout all of Illinois. So please help get the word out and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.